When choosing the polymer to do your job, it's important to find out what's going to do the right job for you. We basically offer polymers in, as an overall, as very, very soft, kind of in the medium, and also in the very, very hard type of, of range as well. But there's overlapping between all these things. Between the rubbery type and the very rigid is a class called semi-rigid. And semi-rigid would be something that you want to use that you want it to hold form and shape and not be distorted, yet you don't want it to be fragile and be able to be cracked. So a semi-rigid would do that. And we've kind of had some examples out here. This would be kind of a semi-rigid part here. This is a fish part. And you can see it does have some flex to it, but it's not overly hard. As this would be a rigid part, it's like a bowling ball. You couldn't hardly do that. That would be our Protocast 80R. And then if you go down the range in these things, just again to select from a, a flexible and, and the uh, TrueCast 40, and there's a lot of its different relatives that are harder and softer on either side, back down to uh, some of the more uh, flexible materials as well. So these can also be used as coatings. So coatings sometimes can be used to make parts or castables, and castables for for parts or coating fabrics. So it's a, how you imagine that you want to use these things, determine what the right selection is. Of course, we, there's a whole lot more focused way to categorize hardness and softness of polymers. But for right now, we just want to leave you with an overview that you have extremely soft, you have your flexible, you have your semi-rigid, and you have extremely rigid hard polymers. To help demonstrate the range of how these polymers are used in some of their application, this is a good example. This is our PureCast 603. In some cases, customers will coat rope and fabric, and so in thin section, it does have flexibility, okay, and good durability as well. However, we do have other customers that cast it into solid parts, which makes it almost, it's rubbery, but yet it still has great resistance to flexing, but has good abrasion resistance as well. But you can see from the thickness, by just changing the thickness, you can change some of the uh, rigidity characteristics of the polymer that you're working with. Of our semi-rigid class of products, we offer the speed set and the pure cast products that range on the Shore D scale, semi-rigid, rigid scale, from Shore D 30 on up to Shore 65 D for the semi-rigids. And the difference between the speed sets versus the pure cast is the pure cast would be the premium, very much more durable semi-rigids when compared to the speed set family of products. For a performance semi-rigid polymer, the PureCast family is the one that excels. It has good durability and great resistance to a lot of, of slurries, water abrasion, and things like that. So if you want durability and you want the extreme abrasion resistance, the PureCast family is the one to choose from. The SpeedSet family, on the other hand, can offer some of the same hardnesses in the Shore D value, yet they don't offer the extreme durability or elongation that you get with the PureCast. However, they do make great functional forms, they're rapid setting, and you can do reproducible functional parts with these products. And that's our speed set. Well, here's a great example of use of a semi-rigid polymer. We have a customer that had a museum display where they were doing an entire textured wall of rock, of simu uh, simulated rock. But they wanted something a little more lighter weight, something that could be sawed with normal tools and nailed up. And of course, stone doesn't offer that. But the parts uh, cast in speed set, and specifically this uh, job was done in speed set 401. It offers rapid uh, molding and it offers the ability to be cut with a common skill saw and to be nailed up with common nails. And you can see the, the results are very dramatic. From the fish to the stone blocks that are on the wall and actually just nailed up. There's nothing to beat that. It's a great product. Speed set 401.